It's Entomology Animated, celebrating the amazing biology of insects using the power of digital animation. Ding. In this video series, I recorded a time lapse of my process for creating this tailless whip scorpion model. So this is an actual species, a living species of arachnid. Uh, it's called Acanthophrynus coronatus. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but you can check it out on the internet, eol.org, of course, Wikipedia, do an image search. Uh, it's a very cool animal. I actually have one crawl on my arm at a bug fair. They're very nice. They're, they're not at all harmful. They just look really scary. So um, I ordered a molt from my friend, uh, Gil Wisen, and it's framed. But what I did is I took it outside, took a bunch of pictures of the molt, so I had some good reference. And try to stay as true to it as possible. It is really, you know, modeling an organism based on its dirty laundry. So there are some, you know, things that are somewhat inaccurate when you're using a molt for reference as opposed to using a living organism because as you can imagine you know our little bug friend had to discard this molt and actually crawl out of it so it's kind of stretched and the proportions might be a little bit off but there's also plenty of images that i found on the internet okay so let's dive into zbrush and see how i started this using z spheres okay so i'm starting out with z sphere armature and zbrush and just pulling out the appendages and making sure everything matches the proportions as much as possible so I'm going to convert this into a mesh and then using the move, smooth, and inflate, I'm just kind of pulling out the mesh to, again, match the proportions. And I'm going to create uh, polygroups for each of the limbs and separate those polygroups into their own subtools. This is still one mesh here and just doing a little bit more refinement. It's a bit chubby at the moment, so I've got to flatten it later on. So I've subdivided it. It's still one mesh, but I have created polygroups. I've subdivided it. I'm using... The clay brush just to kind of start to dial in some of the secondary uh, details here and also kind of blocking out where the tergites are going to appear on the abdomen here uh, and so what i'm going to do is take all of these polygroups after doing a little bit of refinement here on the whip part uh, i'm going to sp uh, do a group split so that it splits all of those uh, polygroups into separate meshes so that's how i got the abdomen here now it's its own sub tool its own subtool mesh. And I'm basically refining the overlapping quality of the tergites by masking the spaces in between and kind of using the boob brush to kind of drag them down and H polish brush to keep things kind of nice and clean. It's still on the bit on the, uh, on the fat side at the moment. I'm gonna flatten it later on. So now I'm working on the underside of the cephalothorax, just refining where the uh, main legs come out of and uh, looking at a lot of reference while I do this. So I'm not making this stuff up. I'm, I'm trying to stay as true to references as, as I possibly can. That's the initial start of this model. 